Praise your name, Father God, through the aches and the pains, God. We praise your name, Lord God, through the ups and the downs, God. We praise your name, Lord God, the good news and the bad news, God. We praise your name, Lord God. You know when that doctor report game came, Lord God, we just praise your name, God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, God. Oh God, we owe our very lives to you, Lord God. All that we are, Father God, all that we're becoming, Father God, it's all because of you, Lord God. And we stand before you right now, God. To give you, Lord God, what's required of us, Lord. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, we bless you, God. Oh God, you are so wonderful, Lord. You are so marvelous, God. And you are greatly to be praised, God. Oh God, we want to welcome you in right now into the sanctuary, God. We want to welcome you into the atmosphere, God. We want to welcome you into our homes, our hard houses, our cars, Father God, our jobs, whatever that we are, God. We want you to come in and embrace us tonight, Father God. Fill us up with your precious Holy Spirit, Father God. So come us right now, Lord God. Fill the atmosphere, Lord God. Oh God, we praise and worship you on tonight, God. We glorify you, God. Oh God, we welcome you on tonight, God. We want you to enter in right now, God. We want you to meet us in this place and in this space, God, because we need you, God, and we cannot make without you, Father God. Oh God, we invite you in right now, God. Wherever that we are, Lord, consume us by your spirit, Lord God. And we open up that door willingly to allow you to come in, Lord God. Oh God, we bless you on tonight, God. Enter into our hearts, Lord. Enter into our minds, God. Into our God, into into our jobs, God, into into our cars, God. Oh God, come in right now, Lord God. Insert yourself into the middle of the marriage, God. Insert yourself inside of our family, Lord God. Insert yourself, Father God, in the center of our heart where we need you the most, Lord. Oh God, we're asking that you would come in right now, God. And have your way, Lord God. Have your way like never before, Father God, because we cannot do on our own, Lord. We cannot make it without you, Father God. We dare not even try, God. We want to with your way, God, because your way is the best way, God. Oh, God, we bless you tonight, God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, God. Oh, God, as you enter in, Lord, we ask that you would decrease, Lord, that you may increase, God. Move by your spirit on tonight, Father God. Oh, God, we want to make more room for you to enter in, Lord. And we know that we cannot do that if we're all sort of love, Lord God. So right now, God, we want to empty ourselves out totally and completely, Father God. We're going to give you all that stuff that causes us to be jumping up and missing by Lord God. We want to give you all that stuff, Father God, that was weighing heavy on our hearts and our minds, Lord God. That caused us to be in that place of uncertainty, Father God. That caused us to be in that place of frustration, Lord God. Oh God, we emptied it all out on tonight, Father God. That problem, worry, concern, Lord. That situation, that circumstance, God. We're giving it all to you on tonight. We're laying at your feet, God, that you may fill us with the more of you, God, with the more of your spirit, God, with the more of your love, your joy, and your peace, God. Oh, God, we're emptying it all out, Lord God. Those things that we've tucked away, God, and we hid away in the treasure chest, Lord God. Oh, God, we're giving it all to you on tonight, Father. God, that hidden stuff, Lord God, those things that was buried deep within ever since our childhood, God, we're giving you those things as well, Lord God, all those unknown things, Lord God, that caused our hearts to be hardened, Lord God, that caused our hearts to be bitter, Father God, and unforgiveness, Lord God, and even those regrets, Lord God, we're giving it all to you once tonight, God, because we don't want it anymore, God, we don't want to harbor these things, Lord God, we don't want this stuff to clutter us up that we have no room for you to enter, Lord God, so God, as you're standing at the door making your way in, Lord God, we want to give it all to you, Lord God. Pour it all out, God, and lay it at your feet, God, because we know that we can trust you and we can depend on you, God, and your hands are the best hands to put it in, God, so we put it in your hands, God, as we walk away with the confidence and assurance of you, God, knowing, trusting, and believing, Lord God, that you'll take care of these things, God. Oh, God, we just want to say you thank you on tonight, God, that we can put these things in your hand, Lord God. We want to say you thank you on tonight, Father God, that whatever it is that we're going through, Father God, whatever it is that we experience, God, we know, God, that we can make it through, Father God, all because of you, Lord. We know that you can do these things for us, God. So we give it all to you not on tonight, Lord God. And we just bless you even the more, God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you on tonight, God. Oh, God, you are so worthy, Lord. You're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, God. And you are greatly to be praised and we bless you, God. Oh, God, I want to tell you thank you on tonight, Lord. Because we know, Father God, if it had not been for you, God, we never would have made it, Father God. God. When we were in that car accident, Father God, or laying on that surgery on that surgery table, Father God, you were the one who brought us through, Father God. When we were in that situation, that circumstance, oh God, that we couldn't figure it out, you gave us the wisdom and the knowledge, oh God. When we were in that place of uncertainty, Father God, you gave us clarity and understanding, Father God. Oh God, we just want to tell you thank you, oh God. As we reflect over our lives, we look back over all the things that you have done, oh God. We know that it was you, God, who brought us through, God. 
And we stand before you right now, God, to give you credit where credit is due, God, because if, if it had not been for you, God, we never would have made it through, Lord God. Without you, God, we are nothing, Father God. Without you, God, nothing is possible, God, but all things are possible with you. And we just want to say that we thank you, God. We thank you on tonight, God, for opening up our eyes and giving us a different perspective and a better understanding, Lord God. We thank you on tonight, Father God, for working on our hearts, Lord God, for working on our character, Father God, for helping us to be all that we can be in you, God. We want to say thank you, Lord God, because of it. Had not been for you, God, we will still be in that same place that we were, Father God, three, four, five, six. Seven years ago, Lord God, but you, God, you brought us to a new place, and you, God, we thank you, God, for making us new creatures, Lord God. Thank you for letting us see in our work and our value, Lord God. We want to thank you, Lord God, Father God, because we know that that situation that we are in, that we are not strong enough to bear, God, but you let us know, God, that you are stronger than we thought we were, Lord God. We just want to say thank you, Lord God, Father God. And as we reflect over and over and over again, Lord God, we see, God, that you are the one who brought us through that, Lord God. You are the one who helped us to climb that mountain top, God. You are the one who helped us, Father God, to face that church and that situation, God. We just want to say your thanks, Lord God, for all the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding that you have given us, God. For every goal, every preacher, and teacher that you have allowed to be our portal to our lives, each and every day, God. We thank you, Father God, for everything that you have allowed us to be able to do, Lord God. Thank you, Father God, for everything that you have allowed us to be able to do, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for everything that you have allowed us to be able to do, Lord God. Thank you, Father God, for everything that you have allowed us to be able to do, Lord God. Thank you, Father God, for everything that you have allowed us to be able to do, Lord God. Thank you, Father God, for everything that you have allowed us to be able to do, Lord God. Thank you, Father God, for everything that you have allowed us to be able to do, Lord God. Thank you, Father God, for everything that you have allowed us to be able to do, Lord God. Thank you, Father God, for everything that you have allowed us to be able to do, Lord God. Thank you, Father God, for everything that you Oh God, we praise you on tonight, God. We bless you, God. We worship you, God. We glorify you, God. We honor you, God. We thank you for faith because we are better than we used to be, God. And even though we have not reached that place of perfection, God, we are not what we used to be. And we thank you, Lord. This is all because of you, Lord God. You help us to look in the mirror and see us, God, for who we were, Lord God. And that we want to prove ourselves, Lord God. And that we will have a heart to accept us about these things you show us about us because we know, Lord God, that you are the truth, Father God. There is no lie in you. So if you said it, then it's true. And we thank you for helping us to embrace that thing, Lord God. And being mindful, Lord God, that we don't want to change, Lord God. Oh God, we thank you, Lord God, for helping us do these things good, Lord God, because we know that we used to be serving people, Father God. Hard headed, disobedient, rebellious, Lord God. Doing what we want, how we want it, when we want it, how much we want it, Father God. But all because of you, Lord God, that change that you allow to take place on the inside of us, Lord God. That fire and that desire that you put in our hearts for you, Lord God. It caused us to want to be changed, God. It caused us to want to be rearranged, God. It caused us to want to be made over because we want to be pleasing in your sight, God. And we thank you, Lord. If it had not been for you, God, we never would have made it. And we are so much better today than we were on yesterday, Father God. And even though the trials may come, the situation, the circumstances, Lord God, we know that you'll bring us through it, God, because you wouldn't have allowed us to come to that point in our lives if you were not going to bring us through. And we thank you, God, because we know that we can hold on to your hand and never let go because you're our ever kept present help in time of need, Lord God. You said you would never leave us on for sake. You'll be right through us to the very end of time. You have stand firm to that. And we thank you for being a promise keeper, Lord. Oh, God, you are so dependable. We thank you, God, because we made it this far with you, God, not without you, but with you, Lord God. And even though we could not feel you, God, even though we could not hear you, God, even though we may not have been the point in our lives to recognize, to know that you are always there, we know now, God, that you are always there, and we never would have made it without you, God. And we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, God. Oh, God, we could have lost our very minds, God. We could have lost all that we had, Lord God. But you were the one who allowed us, Father God, to maintain, Lord God. You were the one, Father God, who allowed us to have that abundance, Lord God. That unmerited flavor that you are pouring to our lives each and every day, God. The blessings that you are pouring each and every day. Showering down on us, Lord God. Oh, God, we thank you for keeping us, Lord God. Because we couldn't keep ourselves, Lord God. But we thank you for that keeping power, Lord. We thank you, God. Oh, you do so much for us, and we just want you to know today that we appreciate you, God. We don't always give you credit where credit is due, Father God. We don't always openly, Father God, testify, Father God, share your goodness and your grace, Lord God, your mercy that you give to us each and every day that we don't even deserve, Father God. We could not earn it, but you give it to us, Lord God. We don't openly share these things, but on today, Lord God, we stand before you openly out loud to let everybody know, God, if it had not been for you, Lord, we never would have made it. If it had not been for you, Lord, we would not be here today. We thank you. Each and every step of the way was because of you, and we thank you. From the day.
day we entered into this world, Lord, you had your hand on us because so many of your people got diagnosed with things and birth to say that they would not be able to be here today, but they are still here. There are so many of your people who got diagnosis with sickness and viruses and death sicknesses, and you said it was not so, and you spoke life, and they are still here. And we bless you, God. We give you the glory and praise, God, because it was you who spoke that word. And we know that your word goes forth and perform and it never returns void. So we have to give you the glory and praise on thank God. We have to give you credit where credit is due, God. Because we never could have made it without you. And we bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you, God. Oh, God, we thank you. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, God, because sometimes the lives that we are living, Father God, we feel like we can't make it through, we can't do it. We're not strong enough to do these things, God, but you have put something on the inside of us that we are stronger than we think we are, Lord God. And we continue to press, we continue to move forward, Lord. So on tonight, God, I'm asking that you let your people be encouraged to continue to live, God. They continue to press their way through, Lord God. Not throw the towel in and give up. Not allow what they see and what they hear to cause them to feel like they're overwhelmed and they just can't take it, God. Let them give it to you on tonight, Lord. Oh God, I'm asking right now that you encourage your people on tonight, Lord God. To let them know, Lord God, that you are standing right there before them, Lord God. That you stand before them, God. Nothing can come up against, Lord God. Oh God, let your people trust you and believe in you, even the more, Father God, for what they're going through, for their situation, for you to work that thing out, God, because there's nothing that you cannot do, God. You're the one who holds our power in your hand, God. You're the great creator, God. You regulate the minds of the people, God. You soften the hearts, God. You open the doors. You close the doors, God. You do all these things, Lord. So let your people know once they, they can live through this life, Father God, and they can obtain that thing that you said that they can have, Lord God. Just help them to continue to live through it, Lord God, and not give up, Lord God. Let them continue, Father God, to stand for you, Lord God, and stand firm, Lord God, and even though that thing may not look right, it may not feel right, Lord God, let them continue to pray so today, Lord God. Oh God, touch your people across this nation, Father God. North, South, East, and West, Lord God. Every man, every woman, every child, every boy, God, I'm asking you to touch them on today, God, and give them your strength on today, Father God. I'm asking you to give them your peace on today, Father God. I'm asking right now, God, to touch their mindset, God, and let their minds be regulated by you, Lord God. They will not be in a place, Father God, thinking there's too much going on, and they can't figure out which way to go, God. Oh God, I I stand in the gap for your people, God, not in the sea, Lord God. I'm going to ask you, Lord God, that you will give them direction, Lord God, and instruction, Lord God. That you will order their footsteps and direct their path and show them which way to go, Lord God. Oh God, I'm asking right now that ears will be in tune with the Spirit, Father God. They can only hear the sound of your voice, God, because there's so many people that be in the ears of your people planting seeds and telling them what they should do and give them their opinion, God. But I'm asking right now, God, that you, God, will filter the ears, Lord God, that you will close their ears and they can only hear your sound. The sound of your voice, Lord God. And they will walk towards you, God. They will run towards you, God. They will press towards you, Lord God. Because sometimes your people feel so heavy weighted down, Father God. They don't feel like they can stand or even walk anymore, Lord. So let them crawl to you, Lord God. Let them squirm to you, God. However they need to get to you, God. I ask that you will help them to get there, Lord God. Because, God, we know that we cannot finish this race without you, God. So I'm asking that you will touch your people today, Lord God. And I'm asking that you will do them for, Lord God. Oh God, we know that you want to give us more than we can handle, Father God. And what you put before us, God, we know that you give us this thing because you know that we can handle, God. That you have equipped us with some tools, oh God. So help us to utilize the tools that you have given us, God. The wisdom and the knowledge, oh God. Help us to use your word, Father God. God, that has everything in it, Father God, to help us to live the way we need to live, Lord God. Oh God, give your people what they need, don't say, Father God, because only you, God, know what's we need, God, and know what's been, Lord God. You know the direction, Father God. You know the position, Father God. And you even know, Father God, the end game, Lord. So God, I'm asking right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you wrap your loving arms around your people on today, Father God. That you are nurture them, Father God. That you are curse talk to them, Lord God. That you, Lord God, will give them what they need, Lord. Father, your people on today, Father God. And help them to grow, flourish, and thrive, and mature you even more, God. Oh God, I'm asking right now that you continue to connect them with the right people, Lord God. Allow them to cross have with the right people, oh God. Put them in the places that you need them to be planted in, God, that they may go where you want them to go and get what they need, Lord. Oh God, I'm asking that you continue to let your people know, God, it's working out for them, do they, Lord God? And they can get through it, Lord God, that they can make it, Lord God. Let them not give up on me, Lord God. Let them be encouraged on stay to stand and stand strong, Lord God. 
Oh God, move by your might, your power, and your spirit, God. And let your love, God, continue to flow inside their hearts, oh God. Oh God, let them know that they can do it, God. They can make it if they try, God. And if they have been trying, God, let them continue to try and try and try again until they get to where you want them to be, Lord. Oh God, touch them on today, Lord. Let them know, Father God, this is not the final destination, oh God. There's something that far that you want them to get to and see, oh God. Let them know, Father God, this is not the finish line, oh God. That you have a life for them, Father God. You have a plan for them, Lord. There is a good and not an evil, oh God. Oh God, let your people know on today, Father God, that this is only a temporary season, Lord God. That they can get through it, Lord God. And you'll do it just for them. And you'll do it suddenly, Lord. So let them know, God, just to live through it and stand through it. Let them be strong in you, God. Give them the confidence and the bravery and the courage that they need, Father God. Remove any fear, Father God. Any doubt, Father God. Any worry, Father God. Any unbelief, Lord God. Remove all those negative things out of the minds of your people, Lord God. And let them know, Father God, they're not living life just to die. They're living life for a purpose, which is your purpose. Oh God, let your people be filled with purposeful things on today, Father God. With Lord, love, joy, and laughter, Father God. Oh, God, touch them on today, Father God. And let them know right now the place they are in, it may not feel good. It may be uncomfortable, Father God. They may feel like they have nobody, but you are always there, Lord God. Oh, God, touch them on today, God, in their hearts and in their minds, Lord God. But there's so many of people, God, that need you, Lord God. They don't know to seek you, Father God. So I'm asking, Lord God, to allow them to cross paths with someone that will lead them to you, God. They will not feel like they're in a place, Lord God, and they are empty, Father God. And they have no one, because we know we always have you, God. Oh, God, I'm asking right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you would touch your people on today and wrap your arms around them, God, and do only what you can do, Father God. I'm asking right now, God, you would heal, deliver, and set free on tonight, Lord God. I'm asking right now, God, to break the shackles and the chain, God, that the bondages will be broken, Father God, and the cycles will be broken, God, the generation of curses will be broken, Lord God. Oh, God, I'm asking right now that you will intercede within the marriages, Lord God, and allow them to come together in unison, Father God, and not fight up against each other, Lord God. Oh, God, I'm asking that you insert yourself into all, this, all the relationships, Lord God. That you have preordained and predestined to be together, Father God. Because we know, Father God, that it's not just personal and intimate relationships, Father God, but it can be friendships and co workerships with God. All these things are meant for a reason and a purpose, Lord God. So let your people not be blinded by what they see and what they hear, Father God, or even what they may feel, Father God, and cause them to be in a place of separation and push themselves away from the very person you destined for them to cross paths with and be connected to. Because it's a place that you want them to get to, God, you need what's inside that other person for them to plant inside of us, Lord God. So help us on today, Father God, to see the God on the inside of us people that you have placed in our lives, oh God, that we make a team to grow with you, God, that we make a team to mature, oh God, that we make a team to go forward, Father God, and fight this good fight in life, Lord God, that we may be able to receive what you have for us, Lord God. Oh God, let your people continue to go throughout this journey, Lord God, and simply to just trust you where they are, Lord God. And we know, Father God, it's easier said than done, Lord God, but as we reflect and look back over our life of all that you have done, Father God, you have not let us down yet, Lord. So, God, I'm asking right now to place your love inside of the hearts, Lord God, and let them just simply believe in your word, Lord God, because your word is true and it never returns, Lord God. Oh, God, let your people know on tonight, Father God, you are a promise keeper, that you are dependable, Lord God, that your word will be performed, Lord God. So, on tonight, God, we're going to put our trust in you, God, our belief in you, God, and we're going to lay off any doubt, God, any unbelief, Lord God. Anything that's negative, contrary to your will and your way to tell us it's opposite of what you have already spoken into our lives, God. Because we know, God, that we are here for a reason. And we are intentionally purposed for your purpose, God. So, God, restore the hope of your people on tonight, Father God. Let restoration take place on tonight, God. Let reconciliation take place on tonight, Father God. Let healing take place on tonight, Father God. Oh, God, refresh your people on tonight in their minds, Lord God. And they will not be in a place of thinking that they're going crazy, Lord God. Oh, God, touch your people on tonight, Lord. Restore their joy and their laughter on tonight, God. Because there's so many people who have been crying tears at night, Lord God. And nobody else is there, Father God. Nobody else can hear me, but I know that you can, Lord God. So, Lord, I'm asking right now that you would hear the heart's cry of the people, Lord, and comfort them, Lord God. And let them simply just trust you in this place that they are in, Lord. Let them simply just 
trust you where they are, God, because so many people are here waiting and feeling overwhelmed, and they don't know which way to go, but we know, God, that you have a direction, God, so direct your people on tonight, Lord. Instruct them on tonight, God. Comfort them on tonight, Lord. Those who have lost a loved one, God, let them trust you where they are in this place, God, and be that comforter, Lord. Those who may be in a relationship, Lord, God, they don't know which way to go, Father God, if they should stay or go. Let them trust you. Let them come to acknowledge you in all their ways, God. That you may order their footsteps and direct their path, God. And when you give them the answer, God, let them trust you, Lord. Oh, God, touch the mothers and the fathers on tonight, Father God. We have a, a rebellious child, oh, God. They don't know what to do, God. Let them put their child in your hands and simply just trust you. Let your people just simply trust you, God. Because you know what's best with us, God. So tonight, Lord, whatever season that we are in, God, whatever moment and time that we are in, Lord God, we are going to trust you, Lord. Because you know what we need, God, and you know what's best for us, Lord. And touch our hearts, Lord, and give us a heart of acceptance, Lord God. That you may accept, Father God, what you bring to our way, Father God, and what you tell us, Lord God. That we will not be in a place of denial or rejection of that word that you have spoken to our lives, God. Whether it be good, bad, happy, or sad, Lord God, let's receive these things, Lord God, because we know, God, you know what's best for us, Lord. You know what's best for us, Lord. And no matter what it looks like, God, no matter what it feels like, Lord God, no matter what it even pertains to be, Lord, or who is concerning, Lord. We're not going to allow that to alter our perspective, Lord. And we're going to continue, Lord God, to let our hearts be partial towards you, God. Our minds stay focused on you, Lord God. And our eyes looking up to you, Lord. Oh, God, we thank you tonight, Lord. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, God, for teaching us to just simply trust you, Lord. And we will, God. Because we know that you have our best interests in hand, Lord God. You will not lead us astray, Father God. You will keep us, Lord. We bless you, God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, we bless you, God. Oh, God, I just want to tell you how much we love you, how much we appreciate you, God, how much we adore you, oh, God. You are truly one of a kind, Lord. There's none other like you in all the land of all this stuff, oh, God. And we glorify you once more, God. Let's be simple, being who you are, God. Put our trust in your hands, Lord God. Let your people know that you'll do that thing that they ask for suddenly, Lord. And we thank you, God, for the suddenly in our life, Lord God. It can happen in the blink of an eye, in a second, in the moment. It can happen in weeks and days and months, but it's all according to your will, your purpose, your plan, your perfect timing, God. So, God, do it how you need to do it, Lord God, and we will accept it, Lord. And we thank you, God. We bless you, we bless you, Lord. Oh, God, I ask God tonight that you continue to touch our loved ones, Lord, all across this nation, Father God. Lord, south, east, and west, Lord. Every man, every woman, every child, every boy, Lord God. I ask right now in the name of you, God, that you will touch all those we are lifted up in prayer, Father God. Those that we call out by name each and every day, Father God, and every night, Lord God. And all those that you put before our face, Lord God. And we see them by faith and we don't know their name, but you do, Lord God. You know the hair that you know, but on their hand, Lord God. You know the problem we're concerned in the situation, Lord God. And I'm asking that you'll see about Lord God. Meet their needs, God. See where they are, Lord God. And that you attend to your sheep, Lord. Oh God, we thank you for being a great shepherd, Lord God. Thank you for being a wonderful God. Thank you for being so marvelous and awesome to us, Lord. We thank you tonight, God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, God. Glory, hallelujah, we thank you, God. Glory, hallelujah, we thank you, God. We lift you up, God. We lift you up, God. We lift you up, God. And we thank you, Lord God, for doing this suddenly. We bless you, Lord. Oh, Lord, I'm asking that you continue to give prayer on the prayer of our God. And every prayer on the altar, the altar box, Lord God. And all those prayers in and out of our hearts, Lord God. And the cries, the moans, the groans, the screams, the tears, Lord God. And even in the silence, Lord God. You can translate all of that, Father God. Here in the center of the prayers, Lord God. And our hearts be posture towards you, Lord God. With no hidden motives, God. No hidden intentions, God. No hidden intentions, Father God. But from a pure sense of place inside of our hearts, Lord God. That our prayers may be heard and answered, Lord God. And we thank you for the releasing of those prayers, Lord. 
We thank you, God. And I pray, Lord, all these things. In your son, Jesus.